Hello everyone, this is Glaps, and I'm playing Age of Engineering. Brand new pack. Brand new pack smell. It's actually not brand new, but I'm still playing it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get to it. It is uh, kind of an expert pack, I guess. Expert pack. Really techish. Uh, not a ton of mods, but 100 mods or so. 106, I think. And uh, it's very uh, recipe changed. Uh, the recipes have been changed drastically and are much more difficult than usual. Um, you can't even... You can't smelt uh, ores down normally. You can't use a furnace for that. You can't even smelt wood into charcoal. Uh, yeah, it, 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 there's a lot. Of, a lot of stuff's been changed. A lot of stuff. Um, it's based on ages, so if you go into your book and go into guide here, you get a whole bunch here. You get boom. I guess 14. So the first age is the first thing you notice. The first thing you notice is that you can't smelt ores and nuggets. You can't smelt wood logs into charcoal. You need Tinker's Contract Smeltery and a Coke oven for that, respectively. And it tells you you should get the mining dimension, the Tinker's Smeltery, all that jazz, coke oven, blah, blah, blah. Kind of tells you, you know, where the gates are and exactly, well, not exactly how to do them. But uh, gives you a little idea of how to, you know, progress. There'll be different paths that you can take, I'm sure. Different ways of doing things. Um, but you are going to be limited a little bit at the start, so absolutely. And there isn't a giant plethora of mods in this, so there's only going to be so many things you could do. It's going to be more about how you auto optimize, I guess. Um... But yeah, it's a thing. It's a pack I'm going to be playing. I should keep one of those. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's let's do this, I guess. And then we'll do this. There we go. Crafting table. We're living high on the hog. I guess we should get ourselves some basic tools here just to get started. Actually, wait a sec. Wait one. Oh, I just made buttons. Why did I make buttons? Uh, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Then we'll do our tinkers. I'd like to just see some above ground stone, then we can kind of speed things up a bit, I guess. Uh, don't have a lot of goals for today. I guess I, I would like to get tickers going, and maybe our mining dimension portal. That'd probably be my goal. Uh, I noticed we were on a river back there, so I'm going to have to kind of remember that. Uh, any clay? Is that clay? No. Um... Just so we have access to clay, because clay, early in these kind of packs, I know I say it every pack I play, uh, but uh, yeah, it's always a thing, it's always something you need, so it's going to be something I'm looking for. Need it for your smeltery, always need it for grout. It's a thing. I guess I'll make a wooden sword for right now, just so I can deal with some sheep. There we go. And I might as well just make the wooden pick that I'm going to need no matter what. There we go. I'll just break this. Get ourselves some quick wool for a bed. That would be nice. And maybe some button for some early food. Let's see, we got a snow biome over there. And what looks like a meteor. So I know A2 is in the pack. That is the uh, the option. Some of the recipes are pretty crazy. So <laughs> let's look at one. I, was, I loaded it up and took a look at some of the recipes. So even a crate, something I always use, mostly just to get away from the chest sound because it drives me insane. It takes two diamonds, a dense gold plate, so you need an IC2 compressor, and a dense iron plate, so you need an IC2 compressor. Um, yeah. It's uh, going to be a bit of a grind. Um, it's going to be very, most likely, heavy automation-based. Flax. But uh, we'll get through it. There are no magic wads, I believe, in this pack at all. I don't think there's any. Um, oh, nice. That'll be slime balls later. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff. I don't need. I might need the dyes for something, I guess, but we'll worry about that later. Stop bobbing and weaving. There you go. But, uh, it's gonna be a nice change. Ooh, we got a ravine. That's nice. Any coal down there? That would be fantastic. I didn't mean to take this route, but we did. <laughs> so we got stone and coal, two of the things I needed, so good start in that respect. And, uh, yeah. Just going to get ourselves set up a little bit. Get ourselves, get a little lay of the land, figure out where I want to set up. And uh, get ourselves to the mining dimension so we can start, you know, getting base ores. Because the start of these packs are always heavy mining based. But there's no vein miner. Uh, nothing like that. 
Uh, I don't know what's in here for uh, void miners and that kind of stuff. Uh, quarries. I don't even know. Is Arv Tools in here? Arv Tools is in here, so that'll be an option later on. Is the Quantum Quarry in here? Yes, it is. I'm sure it's very expensive. Yeah. It's going to be pretty bad, I think, till later on. Oh, no. What? You can't make this. <laughs> there must be a way of making it. I'll look at that later. Um, it would be weird that they locked down one, not the other. Coal. Finding coal early on is very important because, well, we can't just cook down charcoal. Um, you can't just use wood. <laughs> Do you know to smelt wood and uh, get yourself even torches that way or anything else you need. I think I also need some flint. I think the mining tool, unless the recipe has been changed, um, requires flint. So we're going to have to find some gravel here in a second. But I can't say no to this uh, lovely, lovely coal that we're going to need. So it's going to be nice to be playing a different pack. The last pack, it was fun. It was fun. It's more of a mindless... Well, it's not mindless. You have to actually be very aware. Uh, <laughs> more of a running gun, you know, deal with everything thrown at you as it's thrown at you. I mean, my first day I ran into, what, a 330 hit point vampire. That was just horrible. I think I only died three times in the pack. I don't think any of it was caught on video, though. It was always... When I was doing setup for videos. But, uh, it's gonna be nice to play a nice chill, chill pack. This is gonna be chill. Uh, a lot more relaxed. Much more. Ooh, we got a big ravine down there. That's actually good. Might have to set up around here somewhere. Uh, we just need some gravel. So, if we can just locate some gravel, we can do some, uh, crafting. Let's see if there's any in these little pools around here. None there, of course. I know I can make a bed now if night comes. But, uh, yeah, I'm anxious for this pack. It's going to be fun. Um, I know that a lot of people are playing it right now. Got coal in there when I need it. I don't want to go swimming right now, though. Uh, gonna have to deal with him. He was a problem. He's just a horrible neighbor, and I didn't want anything to do with him. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to set up on these planes uh, to start. And then figure out what I'm going to do from there. This isn't going to be a pack where I sit around and do a giant build. It's just, there's too much automation to be done. And uh, it's going to be more outside builds, I guess. I definitely did not want to be in here. I just want to find some gravel. You'd think gravel is rare. <laughs> Check around the riverbeds, I guess. None here. See, we got a snow biome over here. Not anything I really want, but there might be some gravel. There we go. I think we only need three pieces for a piece of flint. Unless that recipe's been changed. Hopefully not. Let's take a look here. There we go. We got our flint. We got no stone yet, though. I forgot stone. <laughs> oh, well. Not a big deal. No exposed stone here. We'll go back to the ravine. Set up there. Uh, mine some stone. I'm going to have to eat that rice. Because I've been running too much. Bad habit of mine. It's from playing all the hardcore packs. You just you think you always have to run everywhere. Because <laughs> something is always coming to get you. Um, let's see here. Ender. So these are in the pack. I wonder if they've been disabled though. I'm going to have to punch a whole lot of grass and see if ender lilies are a thing or not. Uh, maybe I'll make an early sickle and uh, do some spamming on that. We got canola, so we obviously got actually additions. That's actually right. Use. Yeah, actually additions. So that is a possible power source early on. Usually a pretty easy one. Pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun pack. Mechanism is in the pack. It's uh, a late game thing, though. I think it's one of the later uh later options that you come to so definitely something we'll be doing immersive is in here and dryo of course um zilch for magic mods i think i already said that um uh, is that getting dark 
I'm gonna have to get a bed up and going real quick. Let's go here. What was that? Oh, we already get a red orchid, so we can grow a little, grow redstone if we can get uh, some ore uh, bed. Let's just do that real quick. And that, just so we can sleep through the night, that'll be my way of dealing with nighttime mobs for now. There we go. There we go. Deal with that. Yeah, boom. I want to get myself three pieces of stone, I guess, right to start. Then we'll deal with the rest afterwards. But we might as well get ourselves a tinker pick going. And maybe a tinker axe as well, actually. Or a matic? Maybe a matic. I don't know. We'll grab some stone. The matic isn't as quick, but it's more multi-tool. You can actually use it as a weapon almost as much as you can for uh, anything else. So let's just, let's make two chests, I guess. Pull this stuff in. Oh, there's no mouse tweaks. I might have to add that. Uh, I really like my mouse tweaks. I thought I heard something walking at me. I'm getting paranoid from playing other packs. Guess we're gonna need some sticks. There we go. We're already low on wood, but not a big deal. I'm sure we'll find more trees. And in fact, let's just pop that down there. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to do tinker stuff, so let's do that. I guess we'll do this. Give us a pattern chest. Uh, oh, I didn't keep a log. We're gonna need one log really quick. Then we can get this. And I guess we need another tool station as well. Not tool station, uh, crafting table. One more of them as well. There we go. Then we'll need that. Probably this. There we go. And what am I missing? Part builder, pattern chest, crafting. Uh, which one am I missing? If I slant my head. Oh yeah, I got the piece of wood for it. No, I did make that. So... Must be this one I need. There we go. Right, there we go. Now we got everything. We are good to go. We're all set up. We're advancing. We're just technologically advanced here. My inventory is a mess, but I'll have a chest in a second. Uh, I guess we'll just do it like this. Just for easy, early setup. There we go. Guess we can throw a chest on top. There we go. Let's clear some of that out. There we go. Look at that. All pretty. Looking nice. Got a piece of flint. Uh, some stone. That'll give us our first furnace. We'll actually do that first. I was going to do something else first, but this will work. We'll just throw that there for now. Uh, here. And I guess our pick. Because I am going to need a couple more stone. There we go. So, yeah. there's uh, I think one of the big mods that is kind of, you know, gating this pack. I think is going to be... Ooh, some copper. Um, is going to be calculator. And I've never actually used calculator. So, I'm kind of anxious to try it out. I know it gives you kind of alternative crafting. Uh, ways of crafting things. So, it is one of those things. Probably fun to try out. Let's go here. Where did I put my patterns? I had patterns. There we go. Do that. Throw those in there. Oh, why am I throwing patterns in the pattern chest? I want stencil table, right? There we go. There we go. Let's go. We're going to need a pick head. We're going to need an axe head. We're going to need a shovel head. And I guess tool rod? And probably the binding. There we go. That'll handle that. Uh, let's go to part builder. Guess we'll do this. Oh, it needs more than that. Doesn't matter. That. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that. And the rest I'll just do wood. Probably my best bet. There we go. 
<laughs> Maybe. There we go. One, two, and a binding. And I did it again. Oh, well. There we go. Okay. I guess we'll go to the actual part builder. Not part builder, the uh, tool. Tool station. There we go. Guess we can throw that in there, then there, then there. That'll give us at least the starting tool. And then we can make a medic. There we go. And they're cheap to repair and they'll get us going. Uh, I should get some food smelted down, I guess. Guess we'll do it this way. Probably that is our best bet. There we go. And grab some raw pork chop. And we got food. Look at that. Look at that. Just living high off the hog. No pun intended. Do the Tinker's things level up in this? They don't seem to have experience, so that does not seem like a thing in this pack. Well, I might as well get rid of this one, right? It's about to break anyway. We don't need a ton for our mining dimension portal, but we do need a little bit, so... Might as well get it done. Then we will be good to go. Mine dimension is just... It's just so flat and easy to work with. I think it usually mimics... Um, you know, the regular world gen. Uh, for the most part, except for it takes out the rivers and all that stuff. And adds in different kind of gen for that area. But the ravines, I think, are in the same spot. Stuff like that. Uh, we are going to have to smelt down some stone... There we go. And probably eat some food. Look at that. Look at that. All, all those nutrients. Uh, probably don't need the sugar cane on me. And we'll just get going. Uh, I can get copper. So I might as well. Not that we can do much with it yet. I'm going to have to hit... Um, those rivers and uh, grab some clay because we are going to need tinkles tinker a tinkle a tinkle smeltery a tinker smart a smeltery pretty early on um yeah it's a thing there we go let's go see how much of that is actually smelted up go away sir this oh it's alabaster environmental tech is in this that's interesting actually I did not expect that mod to be in here. Um, Cause they must have locked that down. Because that is one of the most overpowered early game power mods out there. Uh, at Enviro. It must be locked down good to proper. So blocks of gold. Okay, it's blocked be locked behind the empower. And octatics. Okay, so they did lock it down good. Well, that is good. That is good. I, I, from my understanding, they've locked down this pack pretty well, so I'm not expecting to find many loopholes at all, uh, like I usually do. I'm going to have to play it all nice and fair, and I'm fine with that. That was a stone pick, wasn't it? I believe. Let's just do that, and that should give us what we need there for our mining tool. And there we go. Um... Then we needed a stone, right? We probably need some more than that. We got nine. How much does it take to make the frame? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think it's twelve. Twelve to make the frame, right? For the mining dimension? Am I right? Wait a sec. Oh, it's on bricks, isn't it? That is correct. It might be sixteen. I can't remember. Actually, fourteen? I'm just saying numbers now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying numbers. We'll start with 12. And uh, see where it takes us. Throw that there. There we go. Put that in there. Put that there. Boom. Portal frames. That's what we want. And we'll just clear a little spot here. All this stuff could be moved later on. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be like 14, I think. Because this has to be 3 tall, I think. There we go. Yeah, so we'll need two more is all. To get us started, which means one more piece of stone. Uh, 
I swear that was the longest piece of stone ever. Let's just take that out for now. Let's actually smelt up our raw button. Get that going. There we go. While I'm waiting to, while I'm not waiting, might as well have another furnace or two. Not like they're not going to have any use. I'm going to have to see if there's any other good furnaces. I do not know. Have to go through here at some point. Progressive automatic progressive automation is in here. Uh, so that gives us some early gain options too. For various things. And all the stuff will end up moved, so that's not a thing. I guess we can just do this. Head over here. And I didn't actually make uh <laughs> my new portal frame, so I should probably do that. There we go. There we go. Should be good to go. Mining tool is still good. Of course, we'll have to do this now. I think I hear a skeleton walking around somewhere down there. There we go. There we go. Have a quick nap. And we've got ourselves a portal frame. We can already get to the mining dimension. We have our starting setup for tinkers. We're looking good. We're, we're, we're doing good in this playthrough. I mean, look at this progression. Non-stop. There is no vein miner, so I just want to make sure no one goes, you forgot to use vein mine. It happens. Every series where I don't use vein mine. Uh, wow. This was a very odd spawn for the mining dimension, but uh, that's cool. Uh, I guess it's one of those ones with a grass top. They have the option, I think, of the configs, whether they make it stone or grass. I could see why they made it a grass in a pack like this, because when they do it with stone, there's tons of above ground uh, materials like uh, iron and copper and stuff like that, and uh, just just makes it a little easier. But I guess we're gonna have to add some lights down here, because it looks like we do have mob spawns here, which is something you need to be aware of. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we have it. We're here. We have a mining dimension. I don't know if the configs have been set to have better ore drops. I don't even know if that mod's in here that shows you that. Uh, let's look at ore here. World gen. It just shows overworld. It's not showing the mining dimension. Oh well, that's fine. Yeah, not showing it at all. I guess it's just showing the one dimension. So we also have the Void Ore Miner and the Void Resource Miner later on, I guess. So those are valid in-game options. But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it for today. I mean, it's kind of just the start here. The start is always slow. We already got our mining dimension, though. We've got, you know, the basis of uh, Tinker setup. Uh, I'll be able to run over there and grab clay and... Uh, start doing at least a little bit of mining i'm not going to do a ton i'm going to try to do in this series as much as i can actually in videos a lot of times i do a lot in between videos um i'm only going to do things which would be otherwise very boring and grindy a lot to watch outside of videos so that is the thing so okay i'm gonna end this one here so as always if you guys like this video please hit that like button if you really liked it hit that subscribe button it's much appreciated uh, i want everyone to have a good one and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.